You know why some of you do not have a joy-filled, real, solid relationship with the Lord? You're not drawing near to him. You simply are not. You can come and listen to all the Bible studies you want. I know a lot of people who sit in church and listen to Bible studies and then boom. They're held bondage to sin. They cheat on their spouses. They pill away. How many of you know what I'm talking about? Raise your hand. Raise your hand. If you just have seen it, know people, and you just go, how in the world did that happen? It's because in the privateness of your heart, you're not seeking God. You're replacing him for religion, for religious stuff, including Bible studies. Don't get me wrong, we gotta have Bible studies. But you need to have that personal walk with the Lord outside of these doors. Does that make sense? It, it does. And some of you have harbored sin in your life and you do not have a good relationship with God. And it can be deeper, it can be greater. Because guess what? <laughs> It's not that you need more of him, like, give me more, Lord. You need to give up less of you so he can move in. He needs more of your heart. And if you harbor and hold sin, hmm, he's telling us here, repent. Repent. Are you truthful with your spouse? Are you truthful with your parents? Are you hiding stuff? Are you lying? Justified as you want, it's still a lie. Are you using deceit in your relationship? Manipulation? That's sin. Beloved, it's sin. God says repent. Wash your hands. Purify your heart. It comes through repentance. Godly sorrow. It really produces genuine repentance, y'all. Sorry over your sin. Mm -hmm.